planning. We're going to be talking about meal planning. And I have a question for you. Have you ever come home from work with the mindset that I am going to get some cooking done? I'm going to I'm going to make something for dinner and when you get home, you decide I'm exhausted. You know what? I'm going to call and pick something up. I'm going to order something, have it delivered. Uh, I'm just too tired to do that. Um, one of the things that I, I first want to talk about is what drove me to start planning my meals. So a couple of years ago during the pandemic, um, my doctor called me in. I had some lab work done and he told me that my labs were off. Um, I was pre-diabetic, which that is a big fear of mine. Uh, being a nurse, knowing the, you know, different things that can happen when you're in it. So that automatically made me decide I'm going home and I'm cleaning out my cupboards. And so me and my husband, we went to work, we took everything out of our cupboards and just, I mean, we cleaned everything out, found out I had so much processed food in my cupboards. And after I took everything out, all I had left was olives, maybe some pickles, you know, things like this that, I mean, that that's about all I had. So I realized that I had less produce, I had less protein, and I was just pretty much using processed foods. One of the things that I found out right off the top was when you plan your meals, it keeps you focused on your healthy living journey. So I was working on really taking care of myself, changing my lifestyle, and it keeps you focused because you plan out your weekly list and that's what you stick to. So it keeps you focused on your uh, weight loss journey. There's really no extra extras in there, no snacks, no nothing outside of your routine. Uh, number two, it is a big money saver. I did not realize how much I was going making trips to the grocery store. I would go to different grocery stores, you know, to get certain things, Whole Foods or, or go here. And every time I went to the grocery store, I was spending at least 30 or $40. So every other, every other day or so, I was, oh, I got to pick up this. Oh, I got to pick up that. But if you plan out, you have less less trips to the grocery store, no frequent trips, um, less eating, you know, randomly, uh, unnecessary bringing things home, snacks, that type of thing. Number three, I focused my on my shopping. When I created this list, I created also a shopping list. And that shopping list is what I worked on when I went to the grocery store. So I am not all over the place. First of all, if you don't have a list, you're trying to figure out, hmm, now what should I make next week? But if you have a shopping list already ready, you have your meal plan already ready, you know exactly what you need. You go in and you get what you need. So it definitely uh, helps you be more focused. Uh, you're not all over the store. And I found that uh, really buying and purchasing from outside perimeter of the grocery store. When I started going through the different aisles, I started finding snacks, cookies, chips, all the things that I don't need for uh, my lifestyle. So that was one of the things I did as well. And number four, it includes your family. You can include your fa family in your planning. One of the things that I love about it is that uh, when we have family gatherings now, we are all on the same page as far as trying to live healthy. So we come up with healthy uh, ideas for our food. So you can include your family in the process. I put my menu up on the refrigerator so my husband knows exactly what we're having every day of the week. And then that five is that time together. Uh, me and my husband started spending more time in the kitchen. He has his specialties. I have my specialties and we love cooking together in, in the, in the kitchen. So, and it's, it's a learning process. 
we're finding new recipes and we're doing them together. So time together is definitely a plus. Um, what I do when it comes down to my planning, um, I start on Monday and I start looking really all during the week, the end of the week, I'm looking at recipes. I'm seeing what's out there, uh, trying out new salads, trying out new breakfast items. And uh, one of the things that I do is, you know, sometimes we'll have a theme like Taco Tuesday or Fish on Fridays. You know, you can have themes that help to kind of motivate you a little bit, or you can just do, you know, a, your regular menus. But I found that planning, when I'm planning, I plan one, one area at a time. So if I'm doing breakfast, I'm coming up with ideas for breakfast, maybe some breakfast cups, muffin cups, where you put uh, meat and then you put your, uh, your cheese, you put, open up an egg and then you add some kale to it, whatever, or a breakfast quiche, or I do a granola cereal, you know, so you can come up with all your different breakfast ideas first. Second, I do my lunch and come up, I may do some uh, turkey wraps. I may do uh, a salad one day with chicken in it, you know, so just come up with different ideas. I may do a chicken salad where I get a rotisserie chicken and make a chicken salad out of it. If I don't want to cook the chicken myself, um, and then do your suppers. And not only that, but I even do my snacks. You can do a snack lunch box, like a Lunchable where you put the cheese, the grapes, you can have the crackers on the side. So you can add different varieties of uh, lunch boxes. I call them little lunch box snacks for you. Uh, and then sometimes I'll even pop some air pop popcorn on the stove and put them in little baggies. So at, ni at night, you know, before our last snack of the night, we can have a snack of popcorn and it's already ready and it's reasonable, it's cheap. Not not as, as expensive as these big bags are. Um, so these are just some ideas. Also encourage you that there are some times when you may have a meeting, you may have a rehearsal, something going on where you do need a day off. Uh, you can um, save that for the leftovers because every day you're not gonna make like, I don't make seven meals. I probably do five because we have leftovers between me and my husband. Uh, but always have the option of, of, you know, maybe you have a day that you want to eat out or you have a late night at work that you may need to eat out. Uh, and also come up with a couple alternative meals just in case you say, you know what, I don't want this today. I want turkey burgers maybe, or I want, you know, a casserole. So always have a couple alternatives just in case. So these are just some ideas uh, how I started meal planning. I've been doing it good for about two years and I love every moment of it. It makes my life so much easier because I know what to do. And so I'll come on another time and talk about meal prepping. I just wanted to come on and share that with you. There's more to come. I'm going to be coming on, giving more healthy tips, uh, encouragement to uh, move forward on your health journey. Because guess what? Our bodies are the temple of God. And what you do with this body is important. It, it, it's so important that you take care of yourself. But the main thing is that God gives us grace. He said, my grace is sufficient for you. When you're weak, I'm strong. So hang in there and I'll be back to see you soon. Take care.